welcome back to Beehive Vlog. As promised, I'm here back with another new recipe for Ramadan. And this one is a very quick and easy recipe. And this is an invention of my sister. So it's called Chicken Achari Masala. And why is it called Chicken Achari Masala? It's also because we're using only Chicken Achari Masala. That's the main ingredient of it. So let's get started. To get, uh, to get with this recipe, we need uh, chicken boneless. Uh, you can use others if you want, but we're using chicken boneless in this. Uh, we're going to add two table, uh, two teaspoon of uh, achar gosht masala. And we're using shan achar gosht masala. Uh, I will show you the packet as well in ahead of the video. And we're going to add a pinch of kasuri methi. This is uh, crushed. It's not powdered. It's crushed. And before we go ahead, I'm going to show you the masala that I have used and it's this one, Achar Ghosht Masala by Sean. After this, we're going to add uh, two, uh, uh, two teaspoons of salt. Always remember that we're going to add little salt in this because uh, the Achar Ghosht Masala, which is from the Sean, has already has its own salt. So we're not going to add more. If it's less, we will add it ahead in this recipe after tasting it. So now we will mix it and then we'll wait for 5 minutes so that the masala is absorbed and then we go to the next step. And now we'll add a little of uh, chatpata raita masala. I have got this from Pakistani supermarket and this is one a masala that is really really very nice it's actually chatpata raita masala but we use it in the uh, we use it as an ingredient in food and it does give a very nice taste a very chatpata taste so we love it and that's why we have added in this now we're going to add some lemon juice as i have said in my previous videos you can use an organic lemon as well if you want but we're using the juice that we have got from the market and these are in the bottles these are ready-made lemon juice so once it's done we're going to let it uh, we're going to let the chicken be there marinate there for on, around 15 to 20 minutes and then we go to the process of cooking We will start with less oil, so we're just going to put like one tablespoon of oil and as uh, we're using a vegetable cooking oil, it's very good, we're using sunflower and to that we will add the chicken directly, we're not going to add any onions and potatoes or tomatoes or garlic, we're just going to add the chicken first, we'll wait for it to get cooked and then we're going to go to the next step. We're going to stir the chicken until it's half cooked and then we're going to add the onions and tomatoes to it. While the chicken is getting cooked, we're making salad for it. So we're going to go with this first step of cutting the uh, cucumber and then we will be going to this next step. As you can see from the video, my sister she's cutting the uh, cucumber little slightly slighted so that the shape comes oval, and this looks very nice in salad. And I think it's one of the uh, one of the most known tricks to all the mums. Uh, but those who don't know, this is the trick. After the cucumber, we're going to add the onions to it, and uh, after this, we are also going to add. Uh, the white cabbage and then we're going to go back to our recipe now as you can see that the chicken has been half cooked so we're going to add the onions to it the onions to it and then we're going to add the tomatoes as well so the onions that we have taken are two medium size and we have chopped them in a square size so that they're not fully cooked and they will give a nice taste of raw uh, rawness. And uh, now we're going to add tomatoes. Tomatoes we have uh, cut them sliced but these are peeled off. So we're not going, we don't prefer skin uh, potatoes with the skin so we have removed it. And uh, after this we're just going to give it one, uh, one or two to three stirs and then we're going to let it get cooked. So 
So as said, we're going to cut the cabbage and we're going to add this in the salad. And after this, we're going to add a little salt and we're just going to mix the salad and it's all ready. So this is how my sister makes the salad and this is her way and I hope you love today's recipe. I'm going to share in the picture of the final look uh, because I wasn't able to take a video but this is how uh, quick and easy was the recipe and if you need uh, it was just like a five minutes uh, recipe and we're making sure that whatever we're bringing in in the recipes would be something that is quick and easy so that you know you don't have to uh, put a lot of your energy because in Ramadan we want to save our time and spend it more in Ibadah. Don't forget to leave your comments and do give us suggestions what you want to see the next. Um, till then, take care. See you until next video.